join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. Just three kilometres west of Galway City is the seaside resort of Salt Hill and that's where we've come to film on this cold and quite windy morning. But just look at the light, this is really a beautiful place at this time of year. Given that this walk is ridiculously early in the morning and that we're visiting in mid-November, you'd think that there'd be no one around, but as you'll see, plenty of people are still drawn to the beauty of this place. However, there's also some redevelopment going on here, and this seaside town, which largely grew up in the 1970s and 80s, when casinos, amusements, hotels and leisure centres began to appear, is still very much a work in progress by the looks of things. But the view out to the bay is something that frankly can't be improved upon. This is the Galway Atlantaquaria, Ireland's largest native species aquarium, and a big attraction for families along the promenade here. We're going to walk the length of this well-known Salt Hill promenade, which is a couple of miles long, where you can wander at the beautiful Galway Bay. We'll finish up at the iconic Black Rock Diving Tower, where people like to come and swim in these freezing cold Atlantic waters. And we'll see some of those brave swimmers when we reach that point. It is, of course, a little unfair to make a judgement of the seafront in the early hours of the morning on a winter's day. In summertime, this place is buzzing. The pubs and restaurants are in full swing and Salt Hill is one of Ireland's favourite holiday destinations. Even in this weather, local people come down here to jog along the prom or for early morning walks with their dog. It's certainly a good place to blow the cobwebs off and stimulate the senses before the day begins. Please take a moment now to like the video and subscribe to the channel if this has been interesting. It's always good to have your support and feel free as well to leave comments and to share the video as well. This is Leisureland, another major family attraction in Salt Hill. It features swimming pools and a fitness suite, but during the summer months there's a fairground on the site, complete with a big wheel and bumper cars. You can imagine these empty beaches packed with people in the summer. It really does get busy here. The other thing to mention about Galway is its close association with the Irish language. County Galway is home to the largest Gaeltacht Irish speaking region in Ireland. There's thought to be between 30 and 40,000 Irish speakers in the county. Nearly 24,000 of these are classed as native Irish speakers. Almost 11,000 identify themselves as being daily Irish speakers. The little shelters and buildings right along the sea here are iconic seaside structures. The bright colours really pop on a morning like this against the moody colours of the bay. Again, you have to picture all this at the height of summertime. This little building would be serving all the bathers and holiday makers, ice creams and what have you. Ice cream is the last thing you'd want on this morning though.
But despite the winter weather, we can already see a hardy bather here making use of the wild Atlantic. I can only imagine how cold that must feel, but we'll see much more bathing later as we approach the Black Rock Diving Tower. The islands in Galway Bay incidentally are the three Aran Islands which sit at the mouth of the bay and where the Aran sweater originates from and I could do with one of those right now. The rain here just seems to make everything all the more beautiful and adds to the atmosphere. As we head down now towards Black Rock Diving Tower, I'm overtaken by two young swimmers who are seemingly keen not to get wet at this stage, but of course they'll soon be submerged in the icy Atlantic waters. And they're not the only ones. This is a very popular thing to do in Salt Hill on a Sunday morning in midwinter it seems. Just wait and see how many people are involved in this activity. There you see the people then swimming at the end of the pier. But just look around, there must be 20 or 30 people here in total. And there's two girls heading home after a dip, presumably invigorated and off to find a hot drink at the end of that rainbow. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this walk. Please give the video a like if you found it interesting and I'd love it if you subscribed and I'll see you again very soon for another Naked Ireland film. Thank you.